welcome back to my channel um, today we are going to be doing a everyday makeup look I really wanted to do this because all the looks I've been doing so far are really fun and obviously full um, but that's not me every day obviously I wouldn't go out with like a full multicoloured cut crease um, every day because I don't have time for that put on makeup this is how I would do it um, and the products that I would use so yeah, let's jump straight into the video. But first guys, give me a big thumbs up. Go and comment down below what you thought of the look and also subscribe as that would help me out a lot. So let's jump straight into the video guys. So you are extremely close to me. So let me know what you are thinking of me obviously closer up. I thought this would give you a better idea of like my skin um, and also help you see how the products work. Uh, I've used a different product from what I usually go with on my brows. This is the Benefit um, Precisely My Brow Pencil. I probably normally would go in with this um, for an everyday look. I, so for my primer, I'm going to go in with the Hydra Matte Primer. It's by Revolution Pro. Um, I do really like this con uh, primer for my skin. So I usually apply about two pumps. And I just rub this into my skin, well press into my skin. How do I, I feel like it does hydrate my skin. It doesn't keep the oiliness in too, um, like, great. So the next thing I'm going to go in with is my Revolution Conceal and Glow in the shade F5. And I'm going to go in and buff it in with the Real Techniques um, buffing brush, I think, like the things rubbed off but I do prefer to use this when I'm like just doing my makeup in the morning because the beauty blend you have to get up like wet it and then put it back on your face whereas this is like there you know it's just going to perform uh, so yeah I usually use about two and a half pumps I do still like a full coverage foundation every day it might not be for everyone but I like full coverage on my face and then I go quite light on my eyes So I would leave it at this, it's about, I don't know how many pumps I use, maybe like two, two and a half. And then I'm going to go in with a concealer, I never, I've never really seen people speak about this, but I really love it. It is the Revolution Conceal and Fix in Light Sand. Even though I am really pale, I much prefer like a yellow undertone rather than a pink. Uh, I just think it suits my skin a lot better and it doesn't wash me out as much. But yeah, I usually just take like a buffing, small buffing brush and like dab it into the pot and just use a tiny bit I don't drag it out into like V's or anything and um, but I do really like this concealer I think it has really good like coverage obviously it's in a pot so usually it gives a better coverage and then I just put this around some areas I might be like breaking out or I want to conceal a bit more But I'm going to blend it out with like a bigger Chloe Morton MUA brush. And then I'm going to go in with the powder. And the powder I am going to use, I'm just grabbing, is... So the powder I'm going to use is the Rimmel Stay Matte Powder. As you can see, I've used quite a lot. And then I'm going to use the same bigger Chloe Martin buffing brush um, and I'm just going to apply this underneath my eyes. Also when I apply it to my eyelids, obviously a lot of people will probably not do these. I do cream contour um, every day but I'm using the MAC Studio Fix Perfecting Stick in NW40. So this is that and I'm going to blend this out now with the same um, Real Techniques buffing brush. I am going to now use my Hourglass bronzer. It looks like this, as you can see, I absolutely love this. 
it is really old and I probably need to repurchase a new one soon but again it was one of the first higher end ones I bought so it has a special place in my heart. I can't even tell you the name guys because it's all rubbed off at the back, I've had it for that long. So I'm just going to bronze over the places I put the my contour and then I'm going to go in with my blusher and um, I recently fell in love with this but I do use it a lot and so I really want to use this on my channel. It is the XX Revolution. It is actually a highlighter, but on me, it like it comes off as like a nice blush topper. Um, it is in the shade Disclosure. So it looks like this. On paler skinned people, this is going to look lovely. So I'm going to go in with the Real Techniques Contour Brush. And just dab it ever so slightly. And then over my nose. And for highlighter, I'm going to go in with that Amrezy Anastasia Beverly Hills one, just because I use this every day. As you can see, again, I really do use these products. I'm so upset that this was like a limited edition thing. They really need to bring this out, like as like a permanent thing in their range because I would 100% buy that again. Uh, the next thing I'm going to go in with is the Modern Renaissance Anastasia Beverly Hills um, palette as you can see and also in my favourites. I don't know if my favourites will be up yet but um, if it is you guys will know about this palette. I really really use this so that's why I wanted to use it on here because I do go into this a lot because I feel like it's such a good good palette so I'm going into this shade raw sienna and I'm going to make this a really easy look and I'm just going to put place this in the crease and this is generally how I would like go to work every day or if I was doing some errands I would just pop this on and I'd be very happy so just placing it through the crease And then I'm going to go into the shade on a, this is a Morphe B80 brush and I'm just going to pick up the shade Raw Sienna, uh, no I've just picked up that shade, I'm not. Uh, I'm going to go into the shade Realga which is like this bright orange, it doesn't appear that bright on like your lid but I'm just going to pop this on the outer corner, blend this through. I do dra drag this in, I like the middle of my eye a bit more, um, but yeah, I feel like the mattes in this are just so easy to work with, that you don't really have to do much to get like the payoff or like put too much effort in to get the look how you want it, which is probably why I love it so much. And then I'm just going to go into the shade on a Morphe. 124 brush and um, I'm going to go to the shade the gold wood which is like almost empty but there's some in the corner primavera and um, I'm just going to place this on the lid on the inner part of the lid and just tap 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 So this is how it's looking so far, as you can see it's just super simple, super like easy to do and I'm just going to go back in with the shade Realga and just make it a bit deeper. So yeah this is how the eyes look, I will put something underneath after I've done my eyelashes, I don't wear false eyelashes every day. So I'm just going to use the Revolution Wispy Lashes Mascara. And then I'm going to go in my under lashes with the shade Raw Sienna. Yeah, so Raw Sienna, the first one I went in with, which is that, on the Morphe B80 brush. And I'm just quickly going to... But I just still think this is just really fun and... So next I'm going to go in with my lip. This is just a, literally, I've just put a clear gloss on. It is the Dior Lip Maximizer. As you can see, again, there is not much left. If you can 
see that in there. There's nothing left really in this. I need to pick up a new one, but it's expensive. But I do really like this. So yeah guys, this is the finished look for how I would do my everyday makeup look. I really wouldn't do too much more. As you can see, it is just really fun. Um, there's not really much to going on. Um, it still really has a lot of colour and your eyes are still done. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Um, if you could give me a big thumbs up and let me know what you guys would like to see next down in the comments below. And then also subscribe to my channel. That would mean a lot. But I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!